Hey guys, and welcome to this video tutorial where I am going to show you row 8 of this cable cow pattern and I'm going to show you how to master the cable 6 back and the cable 6 front. So make sure you have your needles and yarn ready and let's get knitting! So we are going to start by slipping the first stitch knitwise and we do this on every row and it creates a nice chain edge onto the piece. And after that we can get on to knitting our first braided cable and as I am on row 8, the first cable turn will be a cable 6 back. So you will take your cable needle and you will slip 3 stitches onto it and you will leave the needle on the back side of the work, so behind the yarn. And then you will need three stitches before getting on the stitches that are waiting on the cable needle. And the basic idea of the braided cable is to alternate between two different types of cables and either making them in the front or in the back side of the work. But now that we've knit three stitches, we will bring the cable needle in the front and you guys, never mind what I did next, I had no idea what I was doing or where I was putting the yarn. You're not supposed to do it like this, <laughs> but more like this. So bring the yarn um, through the front onto the back side of the cable needle so you can knit the three stitches that are waiting. And there we have it, the cable turn of the first braided cable. In between the cables we'll be needing garter stitch, so these stitches will always be knit on both sides of the work. And for the cables that run in the middle of the cowl, we will always knit a cable 6 back. So you will do the same thing that you did on the braided cable just before. You will slip 3 stitches onto the cable needle and you will leave it waiting on the back side of the work because first we will knit three stitches and then get on to the stitches that are on the cable needle. Here's the first middle cable and the second cable that runs in the middle is done exactly in the same way, so you will cable 6 back. On the other side of the piece, we will do a cable 6 front on the first 6 stitches of the braided cable. As previously on row 4, there was a cable 6 back on the last 6 stitches. So you will slip 3 stitches onto the cable needle and this time you will leave it waiting in front of the work while you first knit 3 stitches and then you knit the stitches that are waiting on the cable needle. have the cable 6 front of the second braided cable. And the last stitch of every row is always purled in order to create the chain edge. And voila, here it is full of amazingly squishy texture. So as we were on row 8 of the pattern, we did a cable 6 back on the first braided cable and in the middle cables. And then on the second braided cable, we did a cable 6 front. Thanks so much for watching!